Hey, what's up, my swaggers? Gamer Guy 7 Ace is back with more Sonic Adventure DX. All right, in the previous episode, we finished the ending story, or uh, the rest of the story of Sonic's story, of Sonic's gameplay in Sonic Adventure DX. So we're done with Sonic completely until the final story. Right now, let's go on to Tails. Tails is definitely my second favorite uh, story in this game because he basically plays similar to Sonic. It's more just like a race. With, with a little more sub games, so I like Tails a lot. All right, let us begin. Select Tails. Character. Also, be sure to smash the like button, guys. Let's see if we can get over 30 likes on this video. All right, that would be very appreciated, and I will post more. All right, I think it's going to be a cutscene now. Let's see. Yep, a cutscene. Let's hear. Everything's working great! All systems go full speed ahead! Uh-oh! What's this? No! Cringy dialogue, though. <laughs> oh, tails, tails, tails. All right. So yeah, tails doesn't play Emerald Coast because it's Sonic that rescues him. So we, we don't play this level. Tails has shorter levels, though. I think it's about 7 instead of 10 levels that Sonic has. But, alright. Alright, so let's hear this. Boy, you're lucky I saw you come down. <laughs> and that side eye, though. So what went wrong? I know, what went wrong? It's not like you to crash like that. This is basically the same cutscene yeah, from Sonic Story, so but I'm not skipping it. You guys are gonna see everything. Not fully compatible yet. You can always borrow my plane, the tornado, if you want. Oh that's funny, like Sonic has never been shown to as being an inventor or building anything, yet he built his tornado plane. Biplane. I don't know. This is kinda weird. It's a chaos emerald. No. Okay, see he said whoa differently. He's like he's a chaos emerald, but he still had that whoa expression. Facial expression. Now I want to harness that power to fly my plane. Let's go to my workshop. You know, it's pretty, uh, you know, ambitious that Sega brought in like a literal 10 year old boy, or I think they brought a kid to voice tail. So it's actually a legit boy. But did they not know that that boy was going to grow up one day, hit puberty, and his voice will deepen? I don't even know if they used the same guy for Tails in uh, Sonic Adventure 2, but obviously Sonic Heroes had a different voice, and Tails Tails have, has had the most voice changes than all the Sonic characters combined. He had, I mean, his voice sounded different in Heroes, and then it wasn't until Sonic Adventure or Sonic that Shadow the Hedgehog that Tails started having. It wasn't until Shadow the Hedgehog that Tails started having a different, like a female voice actress, basically. So that was the four kids voice actor and uh, or for or the four kids voice actress. Man, I can't talk today. So yeah, so it was like that. I think from Shadow the Hedgehog to Sonic 06 all the way to uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, and then they changed the voice actress to in Sonic Colors, and I prefer that one the most. I forgot her name. I think it starts with a K, and she did Sonic Colors. Uh, you know, Sonic Free Riders, Sonic Generations, well, well. um, and Sonic Lost World. Then I heard that they changed the voice again for Sonic Boom. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know. The Tails voice has sounded the same to me since 2010 Sonic Color. So I don't know. Yeah, right, Dr. Eggman. Hang up. I've been working on a master plan, but now it's time to put it to work. All right, Eggman, show me what you got again. Chaos emerald. Or else what? You little. Or else what, huh? Or else I'll take it from you the hard way. If you notice, since this is Tail Story, he has the most lines and dialogue than Sonic does. Like Sonic's just standing there. T 
Tails taking lead. <laughs> Alright. This is one of his most lamest inventions, uh, Dr. Eggman. Uh, Alright, time for the Egg Hornet. Oh, I forgot to ask the question of the day, guys. Um, hmm, question of the day. I think I already asked this, but who is your favorite sidekick of Sonic? Now, Sonic has had a lot of sidekicks. Or, okay, no, no, no. My, my bad. Oh, crap, and I died. Yeah, okay. Fail. But anyway, uh, who do you like seeing Sonic work together with? Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Chip, Chip from Sonic Unleashed. I don't, Silver, I mean, Sonic kind of worked with Silver in Sonic 06, but, but Sonic has teamed up with a lot of characters, not just Tails. So I want you guys to tell me who do you like to see Sonic team up with a lot, and who do you want to see Sonic team up with in the next game? I like that Sonic and Knuckles, I like it when they team up. When Sonic and Shadow team up, you know shit's going down. You know it's going to be badass when Sonic and Shadow team up. But, yeah, I would either like to see Sonic and Shadow or Sonic and Knuckles. Knuckles being competent and smart for once, you know? Not gonna get away with this! Okay. <laughs> uh, that voice, though. Alright, Acelify just sent me a comment. He says, comment on this, WTF YouTube. What does the fox say? <laughs> Why do I mean comment on that? I remember I saw this racist rendition of what does the fox say. It was called, what the black say? I won't even go further than that. If you guys want to watch that racist video, just type what the black say on YouTube. Alright, Tails defeat the boss while I was looking elsewhere because it's basically the same thing. Alright, what's next? What's next? Okay, how long is this anyways? This is like, yeah... Oh, one hour, 18 minutes. So yeah, uh, basically got over an hour left. That was just too easy! Oh, you think so? And look, and Eggman just... Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how did you let him do that, Tails? You incompetent sidekick. Could use a little snack. Who's chaos? chaos time. So this is perfect chaos zero. Or not perfect. Chaos zero. Without the emeralds. Okay, this is the first time Tails has seen uh, chaos actually. I know, I like the story from Sonic Adventure. Sure it's not perfect at all, but I still like it. Just stone tablet said it would. <laughs> Hear this, Sonic! Chaos' strength increases every time I give him a Chaos Emerald. All he needs is seven emeralds to become invincible. Then he will turn Station Square into rubble, upon which I will build the ultimate city, Robotnik Land. <laughs> you ready, Chaos? Let's go find the next one. Come on. Yeah, at first I almost forgot that I don't fight uh, Chaos. Man, Emerald's got all these, I mean Emerald's, Dr. Eggman's got all these, uh, you know, gadgets and stuff to distract Sonic and Tails. He has more, he utilizes more of them in the adventure games than any other game. Okay, I actually prefer Tails' line this one more than the other one. He's like... Hey, we, we gotta find them before Eggman does, huh? But in this one, is much better. He sounds more assertive, more sure of himself. I do like Tails' flight, but it's kind of weird in 3D because, like, okay, in the 2D games, the more you, you tap on the flight button, the higher Tails goes, right? And then Tails get tired. But in this one, Tails just immediately goes up and forward. You know, it's not as bad as Sonic 06 at all, but I failed a lot in, in some of the levels when I was trying to get to the aerial rings. You, you'll see what I'm saying later. All right. Okay, Windy Valley. I love this level. This is actually the first level of Tails. So both Tails and Sonic have a first boss before they have a level. So Windy Valley, stage one. And yellow for Tails. Or yellow. So we don't do the first part. We go immediately to the race with Tails, Sonic. 
All right, shortcut with flying. Oh, and I gotta say, these levels are so annoying with Sonic. Yeah, see, he always says that. He's always like, come on, Tails. Keep up, Tails. Hey, hey, hey. See you later, Tails. Come on, Tails. Step it up, Tails. Like, Sonic, shut up. I get it. I get it. You want me to catch up to you. And he does that on and on and on. It's like, God, is there a way to mute him? I hate repetitive dialogue programming. But, hey, it's not as bad as Sonic Boom, like Rise of Lyric. That one was just awful. I hate it when I keep on hitting the, the side. Hey, I could have actually gone there. I think I tried. Nope, I don't. I'm going to die here again, so I'll have another crack at it. <laughs> but finally, I'm playing another character's story. I didn't think I'd make it as far. Oh, crap, did I die? Oh, I thought I died. Oh, uh, crap. See, that's why I try my best to stay ahead of Sonic, because I don't want him to be saying, hey, hey, hey. And look, I died. I could have tried flying over there, but oh, well. Man, we are high above the clouds. How high is this? Come on, Tails. See, you later. See you later, Tails. Why is... All right, Tails. Why is Sonic running weird? He's, like, hitting every single... Come on. Uh... Oh, look. I made that shortcut, but I don't know where I'm going. Hey, hey. And I still died. Yep, first level and I'm already failing. But hey, this is now this is the first time playing any of these levels. I've never played any other story. I've never played any other character on Sonic Adventure other than Sonic, so everything's completely new to me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna avoid those things altogether. Alright, Sonic is right behind me. Look, he's right there. Hey Wish there's a way I could knock him back, but then that would kinda of be antagonized. Antagonistic. Okay, hit that. Dang it, I have trouble hitting this for sure. Ooh, look at that, look at that. I'm like, what's going on? Okay. I'm like, alright, Tails. You know, I've seen a lot of people take shortcuts here and just fall down to another rail. I wish I could do that. Come on, Tails. See, see look at that. I fly too high sometimes. Alright, come on. But I do like the flying gimmicks for Tails here. It's very fun. Now, Tails is fast just like Sonic, but he doesn't run as fast as Sonic. He almost runs fast as Sonic, but not quite. So I like that. Like, Sonic has his trademark speed. Ew. Alright, I don't know how you can lose these levels, though. Like, you, you would have to just stop and let Sonic get there before you. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's what that guy used, the uh, Tails voice in that Sonic short. And Tails was looking all derpy, and he was like, yeah! That wasn't too bad. What are you talking about? That was great, Tails. They are great. All right, now we're back in Mystic Ruins. Is a cutscene. The train headed for Station Square will be departing okay. soon. Okay, it's about to depart soon. Let's hurry up, Tails. Gotta step it up. See, I got tired. See, I don't understand how fast Tails can get tired. It it varies, man. It, it really does vary. Go to Station Square. You may. All right, I'll, I'll go to Station Square. All right. What's next? All right. Let's go right down here. Alright, so now we're in Station Square. Let me see. I think the next level? Casinopolis. Yep. And unlike Sonic, well, we don't have to, you know, meander around in the pinball stages. We just race Sonic because everything's a race with Tails. You know, one thing that Gangrums did say that I have to kind of agree with them is when, I think it was Danny who said that, why is Tails levels more like Sonic than Sonic's levels are? Hear me out. Tails levels is like more like race Sonic or beat Sonic to the finish line. Every level with Tails is a race, right? Isn't that what Sonic is supposed to be? Why does, like, with Sonic, he does a lot of different things. Like, he's in a pinball to collect rings and stuff. He has to get to the center or something. He has to push this and that what happened. Which is all fun. It's executed quite nicely in this game. But it kind of, Tails represents more of Sonic's gameplay. Racing, beating a character to the finish line, you know? So, it's kind of weird that Sonic's levels aren't like that, and that's his name. Sonic, he's all about going fast. Platforming. But, oh well. At least it's not, at least we don't have to push fruit and snowballs with Sonic. 
Kind of like a Sonic Lost World 3DS. Who's that lady? I'm gonna try to talk to her. What did she say? Wow. Neon lights, funky music. Okay, I'm going too fast. I think I'll pass. You are a coward. You're gonna pass. Okay, so I forgot how to make this turn on. What I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to touch that little thing. Which I did. Nice. Okay, Casinopolis. And it's just the race with Sonic, so this will be very... The levels are very short. This should actually have taken me less than an hour. But it's all the cutscenes and all the other stuff. But tip, my Sonic actually waits for me. They hit that bomb. I don't want to have any enemy problems because I have no rings. Look at this. I'm trying to hit that. What the heck? Oh, okay. I already hit them. At, man, I don't even know what I did. Forget it. Well, that uphill battle, though, man. Okay, yeah, I can still like I think with tails and knuckles they only have like one upgrade with tails He ha he wears that little purple ribbon like like looks like a badge on his chest that helps him do, do his tail attack uh, Infinitely and with knuckles he just has to dig her claws so he will be able to dig in the ground You know so unlike in Sonic Adventure 2 each character has multiple upgrades Sonic is the only one with multiple upgrades like Sonic has like three upgrades the light speed sneakers, uh, the bracelet, and the sparkles. And with Tails, it's only one. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if Tails and Knuckles have more upgrades. But I haven't seen it. I got that shield, though. Yep, Sonic ain't beating me. Nice, got the emerald. Man, these special stages are easy, man. <laughs> mm, special stages. That wasn't too bad. Nope, not bad indeed. I see how we're done with that level already. Okay, what's next? Oh, now we do Ice Age. Not Ice Age. Ice Cap. No. Ice Crap. What is it called? Ice Cap. My bad. Ice Cap. I don't know if I skipped this cutscene. Let me know, guys. I don't know if I skipped it. The Chaos Emerald! Get away from there! Ah! Nighty night! <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I don't know if I skipped that because I pressed the button. I heard you can't really skip the DX version though. Alright, here, here. Oh, look at Cream the Rabbit. She makes a lot of cameos here, whereas Big the Cat. That buffoon makes a lot of cameos in Sonic Adventure 2. But, alright. By the way, guys, if you're watching this, uh, that means I would have, uh, uh, I would advise you to go check out this article that a good fan named Dalton made about the controversy of Sonic theorists. And he mainly talks about Scourge and I. And it's very, you know, it's very intriguing and interesting, you know. Because, you know, if you guys haven't noticed, there have been a lot of hate lately directed at us Sonic theorists. And sometimes I kind of think they're more directed at me because of the Tails theory I made. And speaking of which, I'm doing Tails gameplay. But, yeah, so you guys should definitely read that. I'm going to drop the link right here so you can read it. Because, you know, you know, I, I do understand if people don't like watching Sonic theories. You know, I'm not forcing you to watch them at all, but... The hate that we've been getting for Sonic Theories has been kind of stupid. Like, if you don't like something, don't watch it. You know? You know, so it's a very interesting article on why some people don't like theories and why we're so notorious, controversial, and so popular, you know? Because, like, a lot of people just don't like theories because they don't like to think. When you think of theories, you think of school. You're like, ah, oh, I don't want to think it. Which is why a lot of the theories back then were hated, like Aristotle, Plato, Ptolemy. Galileo was sent to life in prison i think he was later executed just for his theory that uh that the earth and planets revolve around the sun and isn't that what's and, and wasn't that proven to be true years later back then people thought all the planets and the sun revolves around the earth so it's things that start as theory can later be proven as fact anyway i don't want to dwell on this but if you guys are watching this feel free to check out the link i will put it right in the description so be sure to read it I know all of you guys watching this right now enjoy watching my theories and, you know, I appreciate that. I'm going to continue doing it and there is no stopping me. 
But alright, this ice cap is mainly just tail surfboarding. You know, tail surfboards or snowboards or sandboard, whatever you want to call it, a lot more than Sonic does in this game. It's just weird because Tails does a lot of more Sonic y stuff than Sonic does himself. You know, it's kind of weird. You know? But whatever. Because when uh, Aaron played Tails levels in Game Grumps, he actually had no problem with Tails. He complained the less with Tails. Because Tails is pretty much linear and streamlined. If you complain about Tails, then just stop playing video games because you freaking suck. And uh, yeah. That being said, I don't really like the ice cap level of uh, Tails because it's just too. Eh, it's just snowboarding. But he's better than White Acropolis. Anything's better than White Acropolis. Hey, 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 get out of my way, Sonic! <laughs> Alright. Who's excited for Sonic Boom Fire and Ice? That game comes literally a week from now. What the hell, Sonic? Where you come from? Yeah, I cannot wait for that game to come out. I'm definitely going to play it. I'm going to 100% that. And every single Sonic Tuber is going to play that game too. So it's up to you guys to decide who to watch or who's your favorite YouTuber. I'm going to stop you. Hey, I'm going to watch Kobe's playthrough of that game too. So. <laughs> but all right. But of course it's going to be bad. We all know Fire Knight's going to be bad because Sonic was never good, right? Even though IGN gave Sonic Adventure at the time an 8.4 and they gave Sonic Adventure 2 a 9.6. I can't believe, I think it was around a 9. But I can't believe they gave that the game that high of a grade. It's like, what happened? Did they fire all their old bosses and replace them with Sonic haters and Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty lovers? I, I don't know. Well, all right. Can't believe I have almost an hour left here. You you think I'd almost be done with this? This is like the third level, and Tails got like what four more levels left? All right, Tails, let's go. Wait, am I trying to? I'm trying to drown here. Dang it! Let's see if I drown. Yep, I do drown. Oh, but it's no countdown. Whatever. So Tails can drown too. Alright, so that was the third stage. What's the fourth one? I think the fourth one is, uh... I don't know. I don't be knowing, actually. I don't know what the, the first stage is. Station Square. But I am going back to Station soon. Square, so... Let's go. Oh, yep. I, I think I got lost there, so I just edited it. But I don't know why I'm back here. Oh, it confused me. It says Station Square. But I actually have to go uh, meet Sonic, right? No, I gotta meet Knuckles to fight him, right? Cause Tails versus Knuckles, man, that's like fight of the century. Our Tails drop on him. Hey Knuckles! Hey what's Knuckles! Up? What's up? All right, what the hell, Tails? Horrible delivery. What are you doing? What are you? Knuckles. Don't mess with me now. Just hand over the emeralds you have. Quick. No way, Knuckles. Alright, let's fight, Knuckles. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, about to say oh no again. About to make you my bitch. What the hell? Oh my. You guys didn't see anything. I was just warming up. I'm just getting warmed up. Haha! <laughs> oh no! About to make you eat those words! Oh wait, it actually has a counter! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I beat him! Alright. Whoa! Oh no, the apple. I know, right? <laughs> Eggman always comes at the wrong time. He's like an opportunist. Like, what? Eggman's back and he's going to get the emeralds right in front of our faces. You two are fumbling idiots. You know that. Yeah, I know that Eggman. You don't got to rub it in. Hey, those are... We the just said are that, Knuckles. Where have you, you been? In La La Land? Easily tricked. All I did was wait for you to bring it to me. What the heck is he talking about anyway? Don't you realize when you've been tricked? Tricked? No one makes a fool out of me. Way to go, knucklehead. Ha 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 ha. Four. 
count them. Four emeralds. I summon chaos. Chaos. Okay, never mind. I thought he says it. The lines do change, though, so. Now he has three emeralds, right? No, no, this is Chaos 4. Oh no! It's changing again! How do you get... We gotta stop this fast! Wait, so how do he have the extra emeralds? Because now he has four. Oh, I think it would have been with, uh... Either the other character's stories. Which I gotta find out. I hate Chaos 4! Sucks! This boss is so lame, though. But we're tails I can fly, so I should never get hurt. So I can fly. Ah, you see? Death to all who oppose tails. Look, I'm just walking. Oh, okay, I allowed myself to get hit. Alright. Attack! Oh, I can just follow him and attack. Look at them four emeralds. There's the red one, the blue one, the yellow one, and the pink one. Wait, I don't, I don't know what the other one is. I think it was a silver one? Yeah, because we got the silver one, I think, in Ice Cat. No, we got the silver one in Casinopolis. If only I had my light speed attack with Sonic, I would demolish his enemy by now. I hate all the Chaos bosses. I don't know why. The, the last one is alright, though. I like it. I like the gimmicks of throwing things into its mouth and, and freezing it. But yeah. Alright, come on, let's get him, Tails. Oh. oh. Come on, Tails, let's do it. There's one more hit. Wait, did I even hit him yet? I'm about to hit him now. Nice. Yeah. Weird boss, especially how you just stay on the water. The egg carrier. The egg carrier. Fuck, it pales in comparison to the power of chaos. Adieu, until we meet the way he says this funny, it sounds like good day. Good day. <laughs> right. I'm just so hyper when I record Sonic games. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, we can't let him get away. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on. Let's get going. Uh, I hate how Tails' voice cracks and squeaks. But it's funny how all of them, like Sonic and Knuckles especially, have fangs in their teeth. In their mouth. You know, the original Sonic Project Nino Mouse was supposed to have fangs. What's the matter? What are you waiting okay, for? Okay, so Knuckles says the same thing he tells Sonic in his story. In Sonic's story. Alright, Tails to the workshop. Sonic, wait here for a second. I actually have not gone inside that room yet. So Tails Workshop's in Mystic Ruins? How come he never goes there again? Oh well. I wanna fly high. Sonic, hop in. Somebody saves me. I don't know. I don't know those other words. Let's go. The heck? Sky Chase, Act 1. Crap, we gotta do this two more times? I hate these. I never know what to talk about here, so... Alright. I got zero life, so if I die here, that's it for me.
All right, yeah, I really don't know what to talk about here, guys. So I may just stay quiet because the airplay levels are just so boring to me. I mean, I can talk about something else. Let, let, let's see what I can talk about. Um, oh, yeah, today I'm actually going to be doing an interview with the Sega Scourge and Dylan. We're All three of us are going to get interviewed by Megapie. You know, the guy who did that, that, that funny uh, parody of drama, Keemstar's Drama Alert? He did, like, Sonic Alert. Yeah, basically, we're just going to be interviewing us about Sonic Theory and the controversies of Sonic Theory. Yeah, this whole month has been nothing but drama over theories, over something I love to do. So it's just it's crazy, man. It's crazy how much notoriety has gotten. It's like, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but people just love to get the butthurt. This is the year of butthurt. It started in the beginning of January with other YouTubers. So who was I to think that it wouldn't happen to me eventually, you know? So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be nice professional, not going to do any name calling. But yeah, it's funny. Like my friend told me, yo, gamer guy, isn't it crazy how 100% of the problems you have on YouTube and the drama is from Sonic tubers. It's from Sonic fans. It's like, yeah, I love Sonic to death, but I have all my problems come from the Sonic fan base. Like there's nobody who's a Lego tuber or KH tuber or someone who loves Mario games. There's no other YouTuber that gives me problems, but Sonic tubers. I don't understand that. You know, it's crazy. But whatever. So, uh, I don't know. It's just, it kind of reminds me of Harry Potter. Back then when Harry Potter was at its prime. You know, I used to be involved in the Harry Potter community. And I had problems with the community too, you know. It's always the thing you love the most that you have problems with. It's like family. You love your family, but you have a lot of problems with your family. Sometimes you have the most. But you love your family to death though. In this case, I love Sonic, but I hate the fan base. You know, I'm not even going to lie and say that, oh, I love the fan base. No, I don't. Because the fan base is the reason why the games have been... Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's not Sega's fault. Sega has made some stupid, horrible business decisions. But the fan base are the ones that, you know, confuse Sega. Like, they don't know what they want. So Sega will add things like shooting, treasure hunting, or whatever. Because that's what the fans want, right? Or boosting. And then the fans complain about it later. So Sega's confused. That's why Sega's like, you know what? We're just going to create three different games. We're going to create a game for the Sonic Boom fans because we're not going to stop that. We're going to create a classic game just for the classic fans, Sonic Mania. And we're going to create a modern game for the modern fans, period. You know? Well, all right, this... Oh, I like this cutscene. It's pretty much a different one. Tales reminiscing. Oh, so this is supposed to be when Tails first met Sonic and was running after him, and that's how, you know, what led to Sonic 2. I like how they reenact that, although that was supposed to be in what, South Island? Or West Island? That's not no Mystic Ruins or Station Square. That dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! Hmm. Wonder where he went. Sure hope he's alright. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm gonna get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work! Looks like I'd better find one fast! How does a plane need a Chaos Emerald to work? Can't you just use, I don't know, fuel? Come on, Tails. You're supposed to be a genius. So use your head. Alright, do I gotta uh, use a trolley? Wait, what's the next level I have to do? Because I've already done like four levels, I think. I did, uh, freaking Windy Valley, Sinopolis, Ice Cap, and, uh, let's see. So, uh, wait, I did three levels? No, I had to have done more than that. 
Yeah, okay, those were the only three levels I've done so far. So, alright. Wait, no, wait. I. Okay, n wait. No, okay, I did this, the, the flying, the sky chase. Sorry, I thought that was a level. Okay, so that was a third level. Okay, nice. So I'm out in the forest. I'm about to fly high. This world, this place is actually pretty big. Chaos, Chaos Emerald time. Stop! Stop! S T A H P. <laughs> okay, what's this now? Wait a second. I'm supposed to go up. Going up on a Tuesday, or let's see. This is Monday. This actually will go up on. A no, it actually no, it won't go up on a Tuesday. My bad. You gotta hit that switch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna play another sub game. I actually like this sub game. I don't know why I like it more than the uh, Ice Cap. This is Sand Hill sub game. Uh, this is a unique sub game. I don't think any character plays it in Tails. It's kind of cool though. Kind of random because I don't think this place exists in Mystic Ruins. But oh well. So those things basically boost you. They don't give you any score because like I said, this game does not tally up scores and stuff. Nice. I actually like this. It's fun. Totally forgot about this. Wait, it actually has a timer on, on how much of those things I you get? Don't you just hate it when you hit a rocket and it slows down your progress? I hate that. Ah, come on, Tails. Don't prove to... The heck? Oh, okay, I was like, what? Come on, this is better than Sonic 06. Show me that. Okay, I got three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven is the perfect number. There's actually speed boosters here that I'm dash panels that I'm missing a lot completely. Oh, nice. There's no way I'm going to get all of them, though. What happens if you get all of them? Does, does it multiply your... I don't know. I forgot there's... Oh, there is a score here. Nice. Okay, so multiplied my score. But what does the total score do? Nothing. Alright. Wait, that was a frog. Oh, crap. We're going to see Big the Cat. Crap, Tico just comes out of nowhere and just teleports us to some place to advance the plot. It's so random. I thought I was in a desert. I wonder where I am. You are in the ancient uh Echidna tribe. This is actually a flashback. Yeah, I skipped all that because I was wondering. I'm gonna show where I get my upgrade, which is that little ribbon. Yeah, I'm confused though. I need a map. Shrine of Knuckles Place. You know, it's kind of tragic what happened to the Echidna race and the tribe is basically genocide. But oh well. Okay, that's the upgrade. You found the rhythm badge to do continuous tail. The rhythm badge. Okay. Rhythm. Cool. So this is what this is what the ancestor to the rhythm wisp. Oh look. Tails is twirling on it. Twirl, twirl on him, twirl on him. <laughs> but alright, okay, time to meet Tico. Tico the Echidna. We'll never see Tico ever again, though, but uh, she was playable in Sonic World. You know that 3D fan game that plays like Sonic Generations, but has teamwork like uh, Sonic Heroes? Okay, I gotta find Tico now. Alright, Tico, what's up? Chaos Emeralds. Hello there, friend. How are you? Um, what were you saying before? Huh. It's something my grandmother taught me. I'm never to forget it. It goes like this. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos but I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Forgive me, but I don't think we've ever met before. I'm Tikal, 
And you are? Tails didn't even get to introduce himself yet. Crab Big the Cat. Hate this dude. Look how big he is. I was like, who are you? Dude, he kind of looks scary though. He just looks so dumb. That's why Sega keeps making fun of him, saying like Big's Big Fishing Adventure, Big Big's Fishing Adventure Three. Yo, if they made that game. That'll be that'll legit be funny though. I mean, could Nintendo or Sega even make a game, a good game, with Big? They could. They they could make a good fishing game, but leave that out of my Sonic games. Just like what Johnny said. Seriously. All right. You know, it's funny, all the characters that are playable in this Sonic Adventure 1, I've literally, I've basically done a theory on all of them except Big. You know, my first one was Amy Rose with Rotomania, obviously, then I did uh, Sonic Speed Theory. I've done a lot of theories just on Sonic, you know. And then, uh, wait, no, my bad. First was Amy Rose with Rotomania, then was Knuckles Hallucinations, or Schizophrenia, then Sonic Speed, in that order, then I did Gamma, which, uh, you know, Gamma's gender. And then Tails, obviously. Tails being gay, homosexual. So those are five out of the six. Only leaving Big. So I gotta do, I got to do a theory on Big the Cat. It might be controversial, I don't care. You know, it's a theory that I've been planning on doing, so I'll do it. Alright, man, these buses. I thought Tails was going to hit that pillar. <laughs> there you are. Stand ahead. The egg carrier. There's Sonic. Sonic. So far, Tails has only done three levels so far. So I wonder, I forgot how many other levels. Oh yeah, he's definitely going to do the Sky Deck. And then, I don't think he does, nope, he doesn't do Red Mountain. So he does Sky Deck, and I think the other ones he'll do is, uh, uh, Speed Highway. Now what do you say we nail those guys? You got it! Hang on! You got it! Alright, time for another boring Sky Chase Act 2. Now, what am I going to talk about here, you know? I don't know, story time! Story time! Story time with, I don't know, with Gamer Guy. I don't know, just the same thing. And with Tails, you feel the repetitiveness because you just did it. You haven't played a level since Ice Cat. So, we've basically done two of these in a row plus a sub game. So, so far for the past, like, 15 minutes, I've done nothing but sub games, you know? Oh, whatever, whatever. All right, let's shoot them all. Yeah, these school buses are just creating a hell of a noise where I'm at, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I really have nothing to say right now, so, you know, I guess I'm just going to let this play because I literally have nothing to say right now about this guy chase because it's just, eh. I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> so far, so good. Hope you know what you're doing. You bet. Watch this. Transforming now. Whoa. Transform. <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> the way he just picks up Sonic. Now this is kind of like the the way the ship was styled in uh, Sonic Adventure 2, except it was a walking mech. So the tails like recolored the tornado because the tornado was red and he colored it purple. And this is the way it basically looks for this game and Sonic Adventure 2. 
Which lets you know Sonic Adventure 2 is definitely a direct sequel. In Sonic Heroes, it looks back to normal again. Okay, I thought that was the, the ship I was destroying. It's a tornado. Better be careful. When will this be over? <laughs> Alright, time to fight the big ship now. See, this is what I call padding. Definite padding. Alright, let's fight this ship now. As you know, I think this was the same way we did in Sonic Storm. Once it open its mouth, you just shoot at it. Gotta stay out of that though, because that will take your ship down. I think I remember when I did the live stream with Carlos or Husky Z, and I was in the middle while, while the ship shot at me, I completely died, you know? I'm not about to do this again. Yep, I got it. Get it? Got it? Good. All right, what's next? Sky Deck. That's definitely the next level. I do enjoy Tail Sky Deck level more than Sonic's because uh, straightforward. Really, Tails? Yeah, at least you guys look like you still landed, wow, you know, gracefully. Really huge. <laughs> no time to gawk, All right. We gotta find Amy. You're right, pal. Let's get See, in the Sonic story, he says no time to gawk now, but in this in this story, he says let, no time to gawk. So different variations. Are right, we going to fight Gamma now? The heck? Oh, I thought I almost died. <laughs> you have no idea what this vessel can do. Uh -oh. How about I give you a little sample? I just realized those turrets are shaped like Eggman. Eggman's uh, head, and it's like his nose or whatever. That's funny. This Eggman just—he's so narcissistic. He doesn't even know when he's making fun of himself or his appearance. <laughs> it's funny. So Tails was actually talking to himself when he's like, I hate when he doesn't listen to me. Alright, time to get the Sky Dig. Man, I gotta finish this so I can do my interview. Stop saying Haunted Tales and just go to it. <laughs> okay, stage number four, Sky Deck. Action stage. So this is the fourth Tail stage. Beat Sonic to the capsule and destroy it. Why am I racing against Sonic against this? This is like desperate times, you know? I don't even need to do this. I got I got Tails. I can fly. I think I realized that later. You know, one thing I miss with Tails, can't homing attack. That is a Sonic trait. Tails can at least fly, though. You know that's good. If um Sonic, if Project Sonic 2017 has playable characters, I don't want them to homing attack. I think that's a Sonic trait that should only be for Sonic, Shadow, and maybe it's in Silver. You know, and Metal Sonic, of course. But yeah, but it shouldn't be for anyone else. Not even Knuckles, honestly. 
Because like in games like Sonic Rivals, everyone was homing attack, and everyone basically had the same abilities, except their their signature abilities were the only ones that were different. Oh yeah, I totally annihilate Sonic here, because there's no way that Sonic can beat me when I can fly skipping all these places where you gotta, you know, tightrope or... No, all these places where you gotta, like, shimmy on. Yeah, like, like Sonic can, has to shimmy, but Tails can just fly. I hate that area, it's so tight. I do love this section, though, because I just love the platforming and the springers. Time to go fast in a weird place. Alright, let's go fast. Not even going fast. I'm like, you know what? Just fly down. Why do why, why why do Sonic games always give you the speed shoes in the wrong time when in the you know when there's not really much areas to run on? I hate that. It's like it's like their own way of trolling you, you know. I could just fly here. Wait, the ladder doesn't break. Maybe because Tails is lighter. But look, Sonic is like way behind. But you know how these games do, they do that rubber banding with the rubber band AI. Like, like look how fast Sonic just gained on me right now. I mean, the distance he's covering. Alright. Okay, just land right there. Oh, crap! I'm behind. I was supposed to be up top. Wait, uh, so the higher you go, the higher the floor, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go here before that turret shoots us. But I do love this level a lot more than Sonic. I know I said that already. Yeah, I just wanted to emphasize on it. Uh-oh, that thing's going to chase us. Alright. Oh, that thing's going to try to chase us. Come on now. Alright, we got it. We beat Sonic. Yeah! <laughs> I'm always going to imitate Tails there. Alright, that was the fourth stage. I think there's one more I gotta do, which is Speed Highway. That one I failed on the most, though, ironically. Yeah! Is that it? Sonic, we should check out the bridge. Tails always tells Sonic what to do. Can Sonic not, like, think for himself? Entry restricted. I think it's only meant for like Eggman and Gamma. That's cool that Eggman's got a maid drone. That's that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of that one robot in the Jetsons. You know that meet the Jetsons. Uh, that one like maid lady robot. I don't remember her. I'm sure, you guys who watch the show remember that. I used to watch a lot of Hanna Barbera cartoons. You know the Jetsons, the Flintstones, Scooby Doo. Um, also, they also made, uh, Greatest Adventures of the Bible. I've watched part of them. Alright, wait, what is that supposed to be? What am I doing here? Why am I wandering? I thought I edited all this out. Come on now. There, all right. Oh, time to fight Gamma now. Sonic, Tails. Ha, you're a bit late. Alright. I'm always confused about Gamma stories. This is the beginning or whatever because like he's already made friends with Amy and he's doing evil deeds again. Oh, well, I'll be playing Gamma stories soon. I'll be playing that before Big. Big is going to be last. I don't care what the order is. But yeah, it's going to be Amy, Gamma, and Big. 
obviously like I said before I'm not going to get to those final three stories like before Sonic Boom I'm going to do Sonic Boom first then I'm going to get to those games again next month so I will continue this game next month after Knuckles story alright time to fight Gamma and Gamma sucks even with all those bullets and shooting you still can't do it kind of like what Shadow said in Sonic Boom pathetic even with all this help you still can't defeat Sonic yeah, Shadow's voice though. I don't know. I prefer Jason Griffith's voice as Shadow, to be honest. Move aside, Amy. Get out of the, <laughs> way. the way tail stops. No. This robot is my friend. He helped me. Don't hurt him. Mm. Okay. If you say so, you have your reasons, I guess. This ship is losing altitude! Hurry, Tails! Take Amy and get out of here! Well, what about you? I'll find Eggman and put a stop to his evil ways. Wait, see, in Sonic Story, he says I'm gonna put him out of commission. Come on, gang, at least have consistency. So, what does Gamma do? So, Amy needs Tails to land, but Sonic just jumps. Falls all the way thousands of feet and there's a face plant on the ground and it's okay. Hmm, that's weird. I think Scourge did a theory on that on the, the Sonic show. Look at those realistic explosions. Look like they're just added on the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got about 20 minutes left. Alright, back in Station Square. This guy's looking all pink, and Amy's here. So, alright, while well, Sonic is off doing his later two levels, uh, Lost World, and... Forgot the other one. It's Egg Station, I think. Tails is gonna do his last level, which is Speed Highway. Funny how they kind of move. It's like, why are they moving? Like, what well, Sonic looks like he's DJing. Like, mm -ts, mm -ts. that's Eggman. What the heck? Oh, I wonder okay. What happened to Sonic? But you just saw Sonic leave. Ugh, the lines. I wonder what happened to I'm Sonic. Finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy <laughs> Station Square anyway. So I don't want to kill people here anyways. What? Someone's desperate, aren't we, Eggman? What the heck? Why is Tails on his butt? Like, who pushed him down? Yeah, Tails doesn't do Twinkle Park at all. So both Tails and Knuckles have five levels. That's, that's interesting. No, 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 no. Knuckles has seven levels. Pretty sure Knuckles has seven levels. Tails has five. Uh oh. Nuclear bomb and Sonic's not here to save the day. Superman was here though. He would detonate that bomb. Oh, no, it was a dud. I can't believe this. <laughs> I'll go and deal with this monster. Can't believe this. Oh no! All right, so Eggman's going to Yeah, Tails got to get to the missile before Eggman does. So enter Speed Highway. I see it. I see it. That's what Silver said in the Sonic 06. Get it it's funny how all these lines in the Sonic games are borrowed in no other games and the feature games too. Oh, I guess, but where's Sonic? I've changed a lot since I've started hanging with Sonic. But I can't depend on him forever. I do like I Tails' character development in this game. Okay, Even though his yeah, lines are more cringy. On. Then Sonic's, I do like uh, his character development. You know, he becomes more independent, so. That's why I wish this game was remade, because I want the better voice acting in it. It would be really nice. 
All right, stage five, speed highway. I died here a lot, so I actually edited a lot. Unless you want to see me dying for like 30 minutes or something, but all right. Obviously, you're going to see this part again. He's caught top. Okay. <laughs> also, Eggman does also repeat a lot of his lines and is annoying like, he's caught up. Catch me, Tails. Can you get to me, Tails? It's like, okay, Eggman, quit taunting. You know, I'm going to take the shortcut. You do this at your own risk because it's easy to die here. Oh, look at Tails. Oh, so it looks like he's he's twirling on his feet or something. I mean, I'm not on his feet, but on but I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at that again. Up and down and all around. Oh, I think this one. Yeah, up and down and all around. I've got you now, Tails. I love Speed Highway. I'm glad they put down Sonic Generations. You can, and you know, I did uh, demonstrate in generations that there is a there is a similar s section like this, you know, this closed tunnel, but you're gonna have to fall down in the beginning of uh, Speed Highway and Sonic Generations. It's it's basically a hidden area. It's a hidden area, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this is where I die a lot because I just for the life of me can't make it to that aerial ring for some reason. And let's see, I got about 17 minutes left, so yeah. He's caught up. So I'm gonna die again, and then you're gonna see me do a game over. <laughs> All right, I could have taken the easy way, but that, but that wouldn't be fun. Come on, I'm tail, so I have to take the shortcut. All right, there's a plane overhead. All right, but it is pretty slow when you play as tails. You know, you realize that. Wow, I'm I'm pretty slow. <laughs> Hey, do I die here again or what? Ah, nice. There's no helicopter for me to take hold of. So I was right here. The heck? See how I just lost altitude and then I die? Great. Oh, well, game over time. I was like, wait a minute, the Game Over song is the same as the end slate or outro in Sonic Theory is. I was like, Dan, did you put the Game Theory, I mean the Game Over song from Sonic Adventure in our uh, outro? Why? I don't know, that's kind of weird, but I didn't even know that. Because I've never played Sonic Adventure before. But alright, I think I make it this time because I take the shortcut. And why does Eggman say, Tails, wait for me? It's like, you're evil, Eggman. Why are you telling me to wait for you? Anytime Tails goes through those things, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And that feeling when you're running too fast that you're running on the walls. Okay, now let's see if I can actually make this now. So I'm always dying around here. Please don't die again. Please don't die again. Nice. Okay, let's land right there. Yeah, I think I make it this time. I think my problem is I gotta make sure I aim myself well when I jump. Then I fly at the last minute just to make sure I stay in the same, you know, area. Because what I do is I bust out the, the tail's copter move too easily. I mean, too quickly. And then tails just start losing altitude. But finally, the checkpoint was right there. You, you guys don't know how many times I died here. It, it was a lot. I got so many game overs. I know, call me a noob, but this is the first time playing these levels, so don't judge, don't judge me. Yeah, I'm getting better recording these long plays though. Before it was like, ugh. but hey, I still got two more Sonic or two more Lego Harry Potter Deathly Hallows. No, 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 I already did Deathly House Part One. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm, I'm forgetting because I have, I'm kind of behind in my upload schedule because I've been busy with finals. But today, as I'm recording this, I will upload. Uh, the second half of Sonic Story, and then tomorrow I'll be doing Deathly Hallows, so I'll be doing those for sure. Now, oh, come on, hit that dash panel. What does it make? I still lost momentum. Momentum. All right. How's it supposed to be? 
I don't know, I honestly don't use Tails move a lot because I mean it's useful, it's just I don't really need it much. I've got that one of though. Alright, rocket ship. I, I keep on forgetting, guys. Let me know. Is there a rocket ship that you use in Sonic Adventure 2? Oh, yes, you do. A shadow in uh, in Radical Highway. Look, I missed that. How, how did I miss it? Okay, never mind. Come on, Tails. Come on. No. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for this. Nice. Look at all these platforms. Sonic would not be good for this. This is specifically made for Tails. I like that. I can tell his gameplay. Uh oh. Yeah, I almost died there. Okay, the uh, the uh, goal point or the goal capsule is right there. I like it how, how this completely branches off to its own tail specific level. Hey, okay, right here. Never mind, there's no capsule. Yeah. Yep, won that and completed the levels of Tails gameplay. Now it's time for the boss. Uh oh. oh no, it's Robotnik! So you beat me to the missile, you little pest. <laughs> I will make it. Ken's playroom. Play What's this? Casino Ken? That's supposed to be Ken, uh, the boyfriend of Barbie or something? Uh oh. This is the third and final Eggman machine. Forgot what it's called. Looks like a you spider. Fool. Away. Before I make mince meat out of you. I'm not scared. Do I'm not scared. Dr. Eggman actually sounds very I menacing can do here. This. Yep, Tails, you can do this. Okay, Eggman Walker. Okay. Now this boss was pretty hard to understand. I died here a couple times, so you're gonna see that. I did edit out the other stuff because I mean, it's, it's it's very frustrating and annoying to see someone get a game over several times. I mean, what is this? This ain't the Game Grumps. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The moment he says that, you attack. All right, come on. Okay, I didn't even hit him, so. What you have to do, I think, is, uh, wait, let me see. You gotta hit all his legs when, uh, he's going through a malfunctioning mode or whatever. And then after, yeah, yeah, oh, no, no, you gotta hit the ones that are highlighted, and then that will make him fall down, and then you attack him. I don't think you can use a tail attack, I think you have to actually jump on it. But I like it that Tails has his own boss, that's, I like that. Okay, gotta hit that. See, see, look, then I gotta jump on him. Or not, I did the tail attack, the infinite tails attack. Those bones are huge, but what happened to everybody? Did they like run away or something? Oh crap, I lost all my rings. So yep, and I died. <laughs> Alright, Eggman Walker, here we go again. Alright, this time I definitely beat him because I got like, what, nine minutes left, so I'm definitely going to beat him now. By the way, the people at Station Square, they have a tendency of running away quickly before, you know, shit gets real. But he's better than Wanbent than hanging around and watching it. Kind of like in that Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie in Times Square, when Spider-Man was fighting Electro for the first time, everyone was just watching, like idiots. Until e Electro started attacking everyone, put the power off, that's when everyone started running away. And some people died too, which was stupid. I mean, these bosses sure do drag out, man. Like, seriously. Get a load of, get a load yeah, I do not like this boss. I actually prefer the final boss of uh, Sonic more. Because this is just weird. Oh, man. I shade this health really, really fast. Uh oh. Get a load of Get a load of this. Well, he said that twice. He's like, get a load of the, get a load of this. 
<laughs> he interrupted himself. What the heck? Did I just die? What? How did I allow myself here when I die? What the heck? Get a load of Get a load and Get a load and Dang! He imitate. He, he interrupts himself like four times. Yeah. Yes! Finally beat the final boss, Egg Walker. We are done with Tail's story. All right, time for the last cutscene here. Hey, I did it! Yep, you did, Tails. You saved the day. You're the best. <laughs> I did it all by myself. Yeah. Oh, this is Tails' first boss he defeats by himself. To victory. Nice. And that's when Tails became independent. I like that. That was nice to character development. And it carries on to Sonic Adventure 2 and the other games. So that's really nice. Alright. It was like, Sonic! And this is where they meet in the end again. If Tails could have carried Sonic, I'm with that classic, you know, classic look. Or that classic teamwork. There's a lot of vocal tracks in this game though, but they all sound cheesy to me. I wanna be cool. Now this is the funny part again, Tails sinking along, I'm like, what the hell? Look. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, that's just funny. It's like, what is he doing? Is he singing? <laughs> Alright. Okay, guys, so that wraps it up for Tails Story in Sonic Adventure DX. So, alright, I'm gonna let the cutscenes play for the end so you guys can watch that if you want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, smash like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for supporting me all this, all the way, you know, and uh, stay tuned for when I do with Knuckles story. That one's going to be interesting and fun. All right, guys, that wraps up. Take care, and until next time, swag out. Go!